Hi, my name is Camille Schenken, and I'm the Development and Operations Manager for Arts for LA, the regional advocacy organization. And I wanted to do a success story for Art Job because I think that everyone has some random skills that you might not think would help you in an arts job or an arts management job. Um, and I wanted to talk about one thing that I've been able to do, which is create kind of a niche as far as new technology and web tools for nonprofit arts organizations. And it was a complete accident. Uh, what happened was right out of college, I got a job at an online lingerie retailer called Wicked Temptations. And um, I was their copywriter. So part of that was I had to run a site for them, their, their retail website, which was done in a Yahoo store. I had to learn things like search engine optimization and affiliate marketing and a little bit of HTML and all of these other web tools. Um, honestly, the coolest part of the job was I got to name the lingerie, so I named it after all of my friends and had a really good time with that. But ultimately, I realized that I didn't want to be in a for-profit setting and I really wanted to be in the arts, so I left the job after about six months. I also started a, um, a graduate degree in arts management that same year. And in a class, this woman came and spoke to the class. Her name was Danielle Brazel, and she ran Arts for LA. And I really connected with what she was talking about. Uh, she was interested in building this Web 2.0 site that was going to be able to map constituents to their local uh, representative districts like their city council district or their school board. So after the class, I went up to her and said, I, I love this idea. Um, I really liked your presentation. If you ever need some help in the office, then let me know. And two months later, she called me, and I was hired as a constituent manager for them. And now I've been here for three years, and I love it, and I'm the development and operations manager. So I've been working on Arts for LA stuff for a few months and um, talked to a lot of people about the, the way that we were using new technology. And I was using all of these skills from my online retail job, which I told Danielle about before she hired me. And um, I got a call about a year into working there from Los Angeles Art Association. They were looking for someone to do a, a workshop for them in um, intro to social media and web tools and someone had told them that I was good with um, online tools for nonprofits so they asked me if I wanted to do that so I went and I did my first workshop ever and um, it went well it was really fun low pressure and I did this PowerPoint for it a few months later I was in a class back at Claremont Graduate University and uh, we had a guest speaker who was supposed to talk about social media for nonprofits the speaker turned out to be kind of a dud and he left a little bit early and during the break I said to my professor, you know, I just did this workshop for LA Art Association and I have this PowerPoint and it's in my email, do you want me to pull it up? And she said, yeah, sure, sounds good. So I ended up going through it kind of quickly for the class. A few months later the professor called me and said, I really enjoyed what you had to say. Can you come back and teach the entire three hour session um, for my class next year? So that was amazing. I got to expand what I was talking about and um, do three hours of graduate teaching um, while I was still a graduate student. So that was, that was completely wonderful. And around this time, I figured out, OK, I should start putting this on my resume that I, that I teach new technology, social media, web tools for nonprofits. So I was elected to the National Council of Emerging Arts Leaders through Americans for the Arts last December. And um, as a part of that, I had to turn in my bio to various places. And in the bio, it says this about new technology. I think that Mitch from Americans for the Arts must have seen that because a few months ago, I got a call asking if I wanted to co-present at the Americans for the Arts conference this June. And it, it was a combination of development and um, new technology. It was uh, cultivating donors in the new normal. So I was able to co-present at this national conference with two wonderful presenters. It was really fun, it went great, and a few days later um, I was shocked because Rich Mintz, who is one of the guys from Blue State Digital who did Obama for America, that website, they do the site for the It Gets Better project, 
he wrote a blog based on my presentation at AFTA that gave me total kudos and shout outs. And um, I Googled the title of the blog this morning and it has more than 1,800 hits online. And then as I'm thinking about this this morning and thinking, oh, I, I wish I had something to say that was like, oh, this is next up. And I actually got an email this morning from one of Arts for LA's grant makers and they said, oh, hey, um, we're looking to talk to some people about nonprofit arts organizations and uh, social media and we got your name from someone, is that okay? It was like, yeah, totally grant maker, that's great. So I think that these things have a way of snowballing and it all comes from this totally random job that I had. <laughs> and I've honestly used a lot of the other skills from random jobs like sound editing for my first job at a radio station, public speaking. Um, I was a children's DJ for a couple of years. I haven't figured out how to use floral arrangement, but I'm working on that. So my recommendation is to really think about what you can offer to an employer, whether or not it seems to be right there in the arts management skill set, and think about putting some of those random skills onto your resume, because if nothing else, it's a really good thing to talk about during an interview, um, and something that'll make the interviewer remember you. And then the other part of it is just when the opportunity arises, don't be afraid to say, I can do that, I know how to do that, because that's how a lot of this happened for me as well, is just being able to step in and say, oh yeah, I guess I, I can teach a workshop in that, I, I do have those skills. So, good luck, arts management is awesome, bye.